This keyboard screams. Look at me! I am a gaming keyboard. But you know what else also screams? Look at me! I'm from the bargain bin. This particular keyboard looks really cheap, and it feels really cheap. There isn't really much else to say about how this particular keyboard looks. There's odd choices of words. At least the font looks pretty decent, but then again, it's the double shot nature of the keycaps. And how it's being stuck with seven colors instead of RGB. This is a seven color keyboard, not RGB. Which is kind of a bummer as well. And there's just gaming stuff for gaming sake. Where things just doesn't seem to flow very well. But here we are. Here we are. And this is where we are going to go. I really like how the switch is being designed, where the light is on the PCB instead of on top of the switch and it's a clear coating, which makes you think that it's RGB, but it is not. And this particular board uses, get this, Gateron Blue, which a lot of people in the community has deemed it to be better than Cherry MX Blue. That's a lot of hype. Does it live up to it? Cherry MX stabilizers are always a plus in my book. Also, the open board design is fantastic. Means it's gonna be super easy to clean. It's gonna be very heavenly to clean. It's not gonna be a chore to clean. But the keys do feel mushy because of the Cherry MX stabilizer. But then again, I'll gladly give that up in order to have the keyboard easy to maintain. It was quite interesting to know that the side lights can be turned on and off. And it's stuck at blue, but at least you can turn it off to make it less of a gaming keyboard, maybe? What a giant question mark speaking with not too much confidence, but at least you get to turn it off. That's something, right? The keycap is double shot ABS, which is nice considering the price point of the board. But then again, if you really think about it, this keyboard is actually not that cheap considering the features and the way it looks really kills it. It really does. But going back to the keycap, it's nice, it's nicely double shot, it's not like the pluggable one where it's double shotted throughout the keycap, this one's only double shot in the top portion. Now as we get to the meat and potatoes, the typing experience. This keyboard feels so unbelievably good to type. They were right, the people in the community are right when they say that Gatteron Blue is better than Cherry MX Blue. I thought it was blasphemy. I was a non-believer, but when I feel those Gatteron Blue switches, I have been converted. It feels silky smooth, every single press is just magnificently awesome. This keyboard, this switch, feels so addicting. It feels so addictively good to type on that it's just wow I'm trying to find words to say because I know this is a review and 
of course, I need to talk about it, and it's just something you really need to get your hands on just to try it. Don't buy the keyboard because of this particular switch. I'm just going to save you that ahead of time. But this particular switch is just so heavenly to type on. Because this is a gaming keyboard, obviously I have to talk about the gaming potential. And this particular keyboard, as far as the gaming potential goes, it's only as good as a regular keyboard is. Gather on blue, no matter how smooth and silky you are, you are still a blue switch, and that means you are not a gaming switch. This keyboard does not have macro functionality. And I guess you could say that lighting is sort of a gaming feature, but then again, this keyboard's gaming capabilities is as it looks. It looks like a gaming keyboard, and that's as far as it's going to go. And yes, some of you may want to debate with me that, hey, you can disable the Windows key, that must make it a gaming keyboard. No, it does not. A gaming keyboard must have some sort of macro ability. Because a gaming keyboard must be master of all in terms of all of the genre of the keyboards. Or should I say, of the games. Not genre of the keyboards. Think straight. Now then. In terms of RTS, the blue switch, even though it's quite smooth, it's still not as good for RTS. For FPS, I say it's negligible, but it's alright, the keys aren't comfortable enough to hold for long durations. And for MMO, I would say, completely forget it. Just scrap it, this is not an MMO keyboard, and it's not going to be an MMO keyboard. So, of course, we have reached our final verdict of $59.99 for a keyboard that looks like it's straight out of the bargain bin. But the Switch feels so good, which begs the question, is there a Gateron Blue RGB keyboard? Does one exist? I would love to get my hands on it. But as I said before during the typing section of the review, don't buy this keyboard. And I'm gonna stick by my words by saying, don't buy this keyboard. Now of course, if you like my content, please give it a like. And of course, consider subscribing for more content.